nighttime routine alone. Now I'm not a single mama but with my husband's work um, he's often not home until the boys are fast asleep. So for nighttime routine they the boys will have a bath together. Um, so I'm just going to show you exactly how we do it. So just to give you a play-by-play -play of exactly what we do, I first get my toddler undressed ready to hop into the bath. He'll hop in um, and then because I can actually see the bathtub from my bedroom, I will get the baby undressed on the, on the bed and then he will join his brother in the bathtub to where he, the baby will then get out first. Um, and then the toddler will get out second. The toddler has a hoodie towel. Um, because it's summer here in Australia at the moment, it's a lot easier just to allow him to hang out in his hoodie towel for a little bit. Come winter, it will be probably um, his dressing gown. Um, so I will dry him off then dressing gown. So the baby will get dressed first and then I will dress my toddler ready for bed um, and then once that's done my toddler will have some chill out time so whether it's watching TV or having a quiet game whilst I nurse the baby in his bedroom on our glider chair with his lullabies um, and he'll have a bottle um, and then I'll just rock him to sleep probably about 20 minutes um, of snuggle time with the baby and then I'll put him in his bed and then I then go and give the same um, amount of time with the toddler and so then they evenly get some mummy time before going to sleep. You gotta, gotta wash your face, babe. What? Your face. <laughs> Are you pretending to be Santa? Yeah. Santa <laughs> The Santa beard. What? Santa's beard. Hat is on your head, beard is on your chin. Yeah, I sat on head. So if you're wondering what Bradley is currently laying on, he's in the angel care baby support seat. Um, he likes that the most. He finds it very, very comfortable. So with the baby's nighttime routine, because he is an extremely good sleeper, I will give him a full baby massage. Um, and for his baby massage, I will just use a goat's milk baby lotion. Um, it's the brand Baby U. I believe you can buy it in From memory. Now I find if you give them a baby massage before bed it, every night, it helps them establish the, a routine of, okay, it's night time, um, and he, they're more likely to actually sleep for longer stints 
when they have a definite nighttime routine in comparison to a daytime routine. Um, Radley from one month old has only ever woken up once. Um, and I think that's because of the fact that we do do a routine and he is um, so used to that routine um, and his body is well aware of the fact that it is night time when mummy gives him a bath, a body massage <laughs> and cuddles. Can't forget the cuddles. No. Um, yes, yes. I also um, make a point when he's having his nighttime bottle um, not to look at him because otherwise, if I'm looking at him while he's feeding, he will give me a cheeky little grin. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and as I said before, I'm a cloth diapering mum, so at night time he will just have wear one of these and then a cloth diaper on the top with an extra insert in there. I just find it stops any leak, leaks from happening. Um, these are just the training nappy pants from Big W. Oh. So now that the baby's dressed, we get this little guy dressed, um, and I also cloth diaper for him, but he gets a different type, and he gets three microfiber inserts plus a bamboo insert to hold his heavy wetting, because we're toilet training, but he's still night nappying. Okay, so that is the fit for a three-year-old. Um, don't be afraid to pack it. It doesn't matter if it's really bulky. Um, with him, he's looser on the in the bottom row, but he's in more than in with the top row. Mm -hmm. Mommy, mm -hmm. wait. Yeah. It's my foot. <laughs> oh, we go bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You can hear the baby going off in the background. That's because he doesn't like being left by himself. But he's just got a deal. It's the life of being two, two kids, isn't it? Yeah. You're all dressed now. Well, silly duffer. Playtime, yep. So what I do now that both the boys are dressed, you'll see that he's just wearing his nappy, and that's because he sleeps in the love to stream swaddle, um, and it's currently summer here in Australia, so it is a little bit too hot to have full on pajamas, especially when you're a gorgeous little chubba bubba like this dude. So basically what I do is I just go and do a quick tidy over of all of the things that I've used to get them in the bath and whatnot. And usually I am walking around carrying him like this. This is basically the life of a mama who does night time alone. Hey. Hey. Yeah. And you, sweetie. He has a picture up there. Um, his grandfather actually painted, and he's quite obsessed with staring at it. So it's quite sweet. He could spend hours and hours just staring at the painting. Um. So now that the boys are both dressed, I've tidied up what I need to tidy up because um, if I don't tidy up as I go the house turns into a disaster and it's just too much and it gets on top of me. Um, so now that that's done I will now 
hop on to the glider chair um, with the lights off, the lullabies going, with him in a love to dream swaddle, and um, have some snuggle time while I breastfeed him, and then close to when it's sleep sleep time, that's when I do the bottle and he gets 120 mils of breast milk. So this is what the toddler does. Mushy. Yeah, mushy. While I'm doing snuggle time with the baby. Quite happily, just watch his TV eating an apple. We call it nighttime crunch. Not very good lighting because obviously it's night. And we're doing rocking. Um, but you'll just have the breastfeed. I've got the little monkey sound machine there. Plus he sleeps with the fan on. And we just rock him in the glider. Having some snuggle. And he has some milk until he's ready for his actual bottle. It's basically just wind down time. Getting him prepared and ready to actually go to sleep sleep. Um, I just find it makes him more aware that it's night time and it's time to sleep solidly. It has worked as I said before because he only wakes once. Last night he actually didn't wake up at all and he slept from 6 till 5am which is pretty good. Well, not pretty good, it's pretty amazing actually. Um, so yeah, this is just how we will hang out for a bit. He's just having some milk. So when I'm at home I just use t-shirts because I'm at home and I'll just fold them up so he can feed this way. Because um, I'm not in public and no one can judge me for it. Because unfortunately, even though we're in 2020, people still have opinions on feeding your baby. That in no means was me trying to discourage anyone from breastfeeding in public. Um, I say, go girl, feed in public. Um, there's covers if you're not confident. Muslim rats like I use. Um, or the baby carrier wraps, they also help you be um, breastfeed discreetly. Um, really a beautiful thing that we're able to do it. I wasn't the first time around, this time around I am. And I count my lucky stars. Also if you watched my essential must-haves, you'll notice that I'm using the pillow in here to kind of prop him up. So it's a little bit more comfortable because he's got his head resting here and I only need to use one hand. So this is perfect for whilst on the chair and it's nice and cushioning for his little head. Now I didn't film my cuddle time with my three year old because his room's too dark um, and we do a bedtime story. Um, cuddle and we talk about the adventures we're going to have the following day if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like mama contact please subscribe bye